Breaking, Obama makes blood boiling announcement ahead of Independence Day. The American people want Barack Hussein Obama to go away for good. But he just can't help himself, and has continued to bash America publicly. Unlike any other recent American president, Obama has jumped right back into making a return into politics and putting his own two cents in on current situations. Obama wasted no time in criticizing his successor's thoughts of putting America first as any effort towards stability, tolerance, and peace during his latest appearance in Indonesia. It was reported that Obama had stated that what we will see is more and more people arguing against democracy, we will see more and more people who are looking to restrict freedom of the press, and we'll see more intolerance, more tribal divisions, more ethnic divisions, and religious divisions and more violence. We start seeing a rise in sectarian politics, we start seeing a rise in an aggressive kind of nationalism, we start seeing both in developed and developing countries an increase as resentment about minority groups and the bad treatment of people who don't look like us or practice the same faith as us. We start seeing discrimination against people based on race or ethnicity or religion. Of course, Obama then had to scold the administration's plans to withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord but hinted that there was still a fight to be fought there. Even with the temporary absence of American leadership, the Accord, can still give our children a fighting chance, Obama stated. It's clear that he is simply rehashing the past eight years of his own presidency. Whom many saw Obama's leadership as putting America in a position of leading from behind. Those past eight years our country has seen huge amounts of division and violence with the rise of the Islamic State, Black Lives Matter, and the targeting of conservative groups. The Paris Climate Accord just further shows how liberals and the Obama administration put national interests second. It's highly unlikely that Obama's words have any effect on public opinion. It certainly didn't back in 2016. Teen.